Hi, I'm Rod. This is Custom Chronicles. Today's project is this hood. And what we're going to do is get the graphics taped out. We've got some hot rod planes going on. And uh, got a raised stripe. And we're going to superimpose a Shelby Cobra on the very middle of it with some lace work. So we're kind of hitting a lot of things on this. But I went ahead and prepped the hood out. Got it painted black, SC100, and now I'm taping it up. And uh, it's going to be a, a simple project. So uh, let me get into it. Now I got the center line all taped out. We've got all the guides removed. Got the hot rod flames laid down. I've got a pounce wheel going on. And what I do is I take my little chalk bag and I just start getting the chalk on here. For those who don't know, and then this way I can replicate the flames on the other side. And just kind of go through this motion. This is going to give me my guideline for the hot rod flames. So we'll see how good this is. For some reason, or I don't think it's working out so well. But we'll find out. So we'll start to take the gander. And I do got lines. All right, wonderful. So I'll put this side, and then I'll put this template over on the other side, repeat the process, get the flames taped out. There's the flames right there. They're ready for me to, sorry about the glare, the damn light there. Um, but the flames are ready for me to tape up. Basically, I took a piece of paper and went, flipped it over on this side, pounced it out. There it is, for those who don't know. We'll get all right, here is the whole hood. Got it all taped up. Now I gotta get it all masked up, which is, uh, Gonna be the hard part. I am gonna start from the center here. I'm gonna do the lace work here, which is gonna be a graphite pearl over top of this black. And then I'll come to this portion. This way I can tape off the center piece. And then I'm working my way out towards the edge of the hood. These will be metal flaked with uh, candy over top of it. So anyways, that's where we're at. And uh, so there you go. Now I got the lace put on. You know, I've cut back all the mass from where I'm going to spray. And look at this. This is some good looking lace. This is going to be the center of the hood. I'm doing it with graphite pearl. And I'll show that here in a second. Now this is graphite pearl. This is what I use uh, on a lot of projects. It's basically a dark grayish silver. And here's the package there, GP40, got it in SG100. Now I'm going to be spraying this over black. The reason I like this pearl is, is that, well, it's basically a dark silver. You can use it with a lot of colors. I use it a lot with marbleizer, like over the Galaxy Gray, it gives it kind of a holographic effect. Uh, it's just uh, one of those colors, it's because it's basically... Uh, silver but darker you can use it in a lot of things i've used it with white all sorts of stuff but it's uh it's pretty cool that's what i'm using and we're going to get this sprayed out and i'll show that here in a second all right i'm going to go ahead and spray it and i'm going to spray it kind of a little bit back i want to do it nice and even don't want any hot spots in the lace and let's just get this thing sprayed it's nice and even You see the lace turning. Turn a little bit gray. I'm right, gonna do that one more round on that and then we'll pull the lace to see how it looks. Good gracious. I'm trying to film this segment and got a bunch of cicadas in the background. But here we go. Lace is done. Looks good. Real happy with that. Went ahead and cut out this borderline stripe here. 
And this is going to be a three color fade gold to tangelo to red. I'm going to put that right in here. And the hot rod plate. But there we go. Now that I got the bag taping done on the lace, I will be using these colors here. I'm going to put the base coat white down. Start with actually the gold mine pearl right there, tangelo, and then red pearl. And that's going to be done on the next phase of the painting here, and I'll get into it and we'll get some video done. Now it's time to put down the gold. This is gold mine pearl. Just going to gently layer it on. I've probably got to turn the air up just a pinch. This doesn't seem to be laying down as good. There we go, that's a little bit better. I got some marks up on the hood for where I'm going to do my fade. Three, three different colors, so I want to have them kind of an equal distance. Just kind of see how this is going down. Gold's looking good right there in the really kind of background lights showing up. And we'll get back into it. Got the gold down, now we're going to go ahead and get the tangelo and pearl down and just get this spraying. Just going to kind of gently blend it in. Bring that back a little bit. I got these lines there on the hood, I don't know if you've seen them. Right there, that's kind of my guide to about how far I want to take this. See how it's starting to fade out. I'm going to work a little bit and make it a little bit more gentler, and then I'll get video on the, on the next color. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're going to fade out that a little bit better, and then I'll get the SG100 on top of it. And after that, we'll back tape that. And we'll keep moving forward. Okay, not that you didn't see me spray it out, but here it is. Got the SG100 on it. You kind of see how the little bit of uh, blending there, bring it on through. It's gold. This is going to be uh, bright in contrast compared to the black. I'm very happy with how this is coming out. Moving on to the flames. Got the hot rod flames cut out and the silver laid down. I'm going to go ahead and get it flaking, put the clear down, get the flakes on, and we'll just kind of keep on moving. All right, here goes the flake. I'm just going to start cracking the air up just gently. And there they go. Nice, easy pattern. Get them, get them to rotate around. The gun is excellent. That's getting a lot of flake down. In a hurry. We don't want to completely saturate it. We want to come back and do a second float clear so that we have a good uh, in-between uh, gripping level where the next clear will merge to it. Come over this side, same thing. 
So bring the, the air pressure up. Just look at the amount of flake that goes down. This thing is just the best thing to dry flake gun. You're getting real heavy flake down. You know, I do it the traditional way too with the binder. Depends on the job and then what I gotta do. Shoot more clear and then do another round. Now, here's the flames, they're all flaked out. Got the clear on top. I'm gonna let it uh, tack up and then I'm gonna pull the tape. And man, does this look good! And then, uh, obviously, I gotta put the color on, but we'll get video in that when it's uh, that point. But there you go. Beautiful. Now we got the tape pulled, it re-taped, had to redo the fine line, and then cut it back out. The reason I did this is so that this level here doesn't get so high, like built up a lot higher than the black base because it is black hood. And so after I do the candy on this, I will pull it off and I'm gonna clear coat it. Just a little bit of info. Fine, people. Now this is where uh, the fun begins. I'm going to start laying the color in the flames here. Right here, I'm doing the Spanish gold right up in here. Basically, the pockets. We're going to get this start laying it out. It's going to take a little bit because I just don't want to overpower it quite yet. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to bring it up here, back down. It's starting to shine up. And the reason I don't want to bring it all the way to the edge is because I'm going to be using the red over top and I don't want to create orange. I want red. So I'm going to be careful with how I layer this out. I'm going to come up here, let that dry a little bit. Hopefully, I got the head thing on. Hopefully, I'm not like filming a bunch of nothing. I tried to set up my headgear for this so you could see, but sometimes I move around. It's just the way I am. I kind of flail around like a maniac, but we're doing it. Let's see, I'll come back and check everything. I'm gonna go ahead over here to the other side. Same process, start layering out. when the, the magic begins when this color starts going on get it under clear and it just takes off oh love it And the last pocket right here. And this is the first round of it. I'm gonna build this color up and make it really rich. We want this flake to be jumping underneath this candy as I'm laying it down. If it isn't jumping, it's not bright enough. I mean, it'll jump under the clear, but I want this color to be just shining out. But there you go, it's first bit. I'm gonna tidy some of this stuff up. But uh, anyways, there you go. All right, I got the Spanish gold down. I'm going to go ahead and get the tanger, uh, tangerine candy down. We're just doing the wicks here, get it nice and wet. See how that flake is jumping out? We'll fade it out just a little bit. We want the color pretty intense because, uh, well, you know, candy's fading in sunlight, so we want this to last as long as we, it can. 
So anyways, there we go. That'll dry down a little bit and then I'll come back and do my multiple coats. But this is the fun part, watching this transfer out. Now I'm gonna come around and hit the edges with the candy apple red, start to blend everything all in. And it'll just uh, start to shape up. Borderlining and bright yellow, I believe. I don't know, when I get there, I may change the ideal. But uh, I'm so happy about how this hood's coming out and this flake and all that stuff. Hopefully I uh, am not filming just a bunch of nothing right at the moment because I can't see with this headset on. I'm not uh, all that is practiced at this yet. But anyways, uh, here we go. This is looking pretty good. That's round one of that. I'll come back and when we start getting into the red. The next phase in this uh, project here is I'm gonna get this cut out. <clears throat> uh, yep, this is not vinyl cut. I'm sorry to say. I don't have a vinyl cutter, so I gotta do it the old school way, do transfer. And there's a snake. And so you show you see how the flames came out here. They came out pretty good. <clears throat> I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna be painting this white after I get all this stuff cut out. <clears throat> and then I'll be borderline that hand striping. It's gonna be quite a few hours on this. But that's okay. I'm doing it, you know, the retro 70s look. They didn't exactly have vinyl cutters back then, I don't believe. So, anyways, um, here you go. I'm going to get this done. Now, this is how it looks. I did the vinyl cutting, sprayed it white, and obviously I got to weed out. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I got to weed out the sections. Not a real big deal. It looks pretty good. It's a nice little contrast. Everything's going to be pearlescent and uh flaky and then this snake is just going to be all flat so it's got a different tone but anyway so i'm going to go ahead get all that weeded out and then i'll show the next phase now we got this uh cobra all weeded out <clears throat> i borderlined it in blue and then i got red dots to highlight so we got the red white and blue you know kind of patriotic usa colors here on this Cobra and I went ahead borderline this I didn't get any of the video of that because well I didn't have any uh, help today so I just kind of went at it got it all done got the borderline orange on here that's magenta on the stripe there's the flake flames on this side here and I got this borderlined out I got uh, one more thing to do to this, and then I'm definitely going to get video of that so you can see some of the techniques that I'm going to use. But uh, we are getting this thing wrapped up. Okay, so much for definitely showing you my next technique. Again, I didn't have any help with the uh, video and whatnot today, and I'm a little bit under a time constraint. But I did some airbrushing, kind of shadowed it out a little bit just to add some more detail. Darken it up because the bright white was screaming and uh, this is first round of clear i'm going to come back in sand the, the whole thing 600 but i'm going to do that a little bit later i got to cut in the underside which i should have done first but i didn't but anyways here we go just kind of see how this is looking i'll show it out in the sunlight when it's all buffed and finished up but anyways it's looking pretty damn good i'm happy with it so far now I'm into the fun part of this whole job, wet sanding. Sanding is my life, it is what it is, it's part of the deal, but I'm going to be getting this all flattened out for the re-clear. I'm going to be re-clearing this, I do re-clears in batches, uh, this way I can get a bunch of stuff done at the same time, but I also got the helmet to do, this panel, skateboard, and the mailbox, I'm re-clearing that, and uh, just getting this uh, finished up. I will, again, show the whole project when it's finished. There's no point in showing the buffing and the sanding because nobody's going to care. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, we're getting this wound down and uh, we're going to keep moving on. I'll be uh, following up with the other things that you just seen. Okay, here we are. We got it all finished. Uh, even though I failed to do some steps in there, especially with the airbrushing of the Cobra. 
So you kind of get a gist of how this is looking. Nice and clean. The colors are nice and bright. The Cobra, of course the lace work in there, the fading out on the stripe. And we're gonna get this thing put on. But there's this project. Uh, just uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And if you don't, don't subscribe. But uh, we got plenty of projects, more neat uh, custom painting to do. And uh, there you go.